gosh, I'm so sorry, Unikitty. Do you want to sit down and talk about it? What the heck is that? It's a double-decker couch. You are so disappointing on so many levels. Why are my pants cold and wet? Ew. Uh... Get to the escape pods. You built the escape pods? I thought you did. We're gonna die. The Lego Movie video game walkthrough. This is going to be the eighth level, or the ninth level, the depths. And this is what happens when you try to skydive with a submarine. It hits the ocean and disintegrates below the water. And actually, I didn't watch the cutscene before this, so it might have been that something got blown up and it hit it and... I don't know. But either way, it's probably not a good idea to make a submarine out of rainbows and clouds and then expect it to keep you alive once you go deep below the surface. So that's exactly what's happening here. It is falling apart because it's only made by sunshine and happiness. And that, sadly, does not keep water from drowning you. And the first couple of things you'll need to do, just because you're Vitruvius and Benny, is build this stereo system and then you'll be able to fall down here and do a couple more things. And this level is actually pretty fun because there's a lot of, uh, a lot of swimming going on and it actually reminded me a little bit of Rayman Legends and uh, I don't know why, it, it just did. It's kind of dark and strange. Anyway, the golden instruction booklet you see to the left there, you can only get that in free play because you need someone with a laser or someone else who can destroy gold objects. And for the first thing here, you're going to want to just build that first rock on the wall so you can put out this fire uh, pit that's kind of burning. I don't know why the heck there's a fire burning on the submarine. You'd think that might create carbon monoxide poisoning. But then, once you're done destroying a bunch of the other stuff, you're going to want to actually destroy that fire so you can build the rest of the uh, thing that you need to get up there. And you'll also need to do the secret knock with uh, Vitruvius. And it, okay, I guess you don't get up there. I guess you use the secret knock to head on over to the right side. It's been... I don't know, it's just hard to remember some of these levels sometimes, so excuse my failings when it comes to uh, not remembering everything. <laughs> and then use Vitruvius to build this uh, Lego object, but first you're going to need to destroy more Legos so you can actually get access to the third one, and then you should be able to build them for it. And you can see Kitty and Wild Style up on the right there. You will be heading over to them soon enough, but it'll be quite a bit longer than you would expect. And this is actually probably one of the longer levels. Or at least it felt longer. I don't think it is actually that long. I can't see in my timeline. What would it be like? I don't know. Eh, maybe around 20 minutes. Maybe a little bit longer than 20 minutes. Uh, so it felt long. It might not be that long. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, just come down here and you're going to want to get rid of these uh, speakers on the left and the right side and then you're going to need to build them. And when you build one of them, a bunch of robots are going to come out of nowhere because for some reason they're on your submarine and uh, you're, they're, they're just kind of annoying. You don't really have to deal with them. But then you'll need to jump on the button of this new speaker that you just destroyed and then pull the lever that shows up on the left or the right side of this doorway. And you'll notice that there's a computer in the middle there, so you will obviously be using Benny to uh, deal with that in a second here. But just activate the second lever, and then you will get access to the computer, which you can then activate with the astronaut. So this one is a little bit more complicated, but at the same time not nearly as complicated as it possibly could be, <laughs> just compared to the other uh, hacking things you have to do. And it's just because it's a little bit bigger, but just do the same thing that you did in the last level, which is work your way here, rapidly tap B, and sometimes the virus may follow you, but he may not take the same path, so for that one he probably would have killed me and sent me back to the beginning, but he kept going to the left instead of going down the middle. 
Once you do that, this torpedo, which was supposed to push the ship upwards, is going to randomly move in a strangely erratic fashion, blow up part of the ship, and then land in the seabed. So now that the entire submarine is floated, or flooded, you're going to need to swim through it and get to that uh, torpedo. And getting out of the submarine is actually a little bit weird. It's almost like a maze, but there's a golden instruction booklet there that you can grab. And it, you'll also notice that when you're underwater, you have a you have breath uh, in place of your hearts, so you have blue hearts instead of red ones. And the blue ones, like I just said, are your breath, and you can find blue hearts fly uh, randomly floating around. Fumbling over my own words here. You can find blue hearts randomly floating around to replenish your air and if you don't manage to find enough hearts because I found more often than not I couldn't find any hearts anywhere if you die then don't worry you respawn in the exact same spot which kind of makes the hearts meaningless if you ask me <laughs> they should have just made us like Super Mario where we have unlimited air underwater and we would have been fine Eventually though, once you get tired of swimming around within the submarine, come out the top and then follow the stud trail to the left. Now you can go beneath the submarine if you want to, hello chicken, you can go beneath the submarine if you want to to explore there, but what you really need to do is just come over here to the left side, as you can see I died there, and find the rocket so you can shoot it with Benny's gun. Now you can, or I guess it's a torpedo, but torpedoes are underground rocket, underwater rockets. Do they have underground rockets? That might be moles. Maybe Mole Man? I don't know. Anyway, once you uh, blow up that torpedo, then you will get access to the Great Barrier Reef of the LEGO World, and you'll have to swim through these reefs and just watch out for these schools of fish that are extremely aggravating. You'll see what I mean here in a second. But they will grab onto you and they take you back to the beginning of the little section, so you'll see here in a second. But this whole place is pretty much like, okay, right here, here they are. Right there, they kind of go behind into the background there, but you'll notice that's really the beginning. So here they are, they grab onto you, and then they take you to the beginning of where you don't want to go. And then you're just like, ah, why the heck did they do that? But there are uh, points, there are like little rivets on certain points of this section of this level that you can hide in and wait for all the schools of fish to pass so you don't have to uh, deal with rushing past them and there's gonna be one part that is actually pretty lengthy and you have to hide in like three of those rivets with the you know while avoiding the school of fish but it's not too bad if you tap the A button and I forgot about that part hello swordfish <laughs> anyway if you tap the A button or <coughs> excuse me, or the jump button, then you can swim a little bit faster, and oddly enough, it doesn't actually make you use more oxygen. Normally in games, when you ha when you swim faster, you use up all your oxygen quicker, but in this one, it's the exact same rate, and you just end up getting to the place where you need to go faster. So for here, you're actually going to need to use the power of that uh, swordfish, if you couldn't figure it out by the guy who is running away from it, which really seems like a massive hint that you're supposed to use the swordfish, and you're going to need to get him to run into this shield of this Atlantis statue, and all you have to do is wait for him to come on over to where you are, it might take a few seconds for him to find you, there he is, and he will aim, his eyes will flash, and then he will move as quickly as he can underwater into the shield, he'll die, the statue will get blown up, and then you can continue. So now you get to use Vitruvius' staff to light up the underwater, and this was the part that reminded me of Rayman Legends, just because there were some dark underwater levels where you had to follow the fish that would illuminate your way, and that was a great game. Anyway, this is going to be where the school of fish are going to show up, and I didn't know that, so I was like, ah, and they send you all the way back there. So to avoid them, just kind of hide in that first uh, dip here and wait for them to pass and once you leave 
just move quickly, move as quickly as you can to the next one, and then you will be able to hopefully get past them entirely. The worst thing that could happen is that you get to the last one, and you leave too early or too late, and then they take you all the way back to the start. <laughs> I hate those fish. They are just... Uh, they're stupid. And that'll be the final uh, dip there that you can go hide in, but I decided to risk it, and I just went on down. So you can make it if you don't want to hide in the last one. You can quickly make your way over there. Then you will notice a bunch of these scary underwater skeletal dragon things, which kind of just glance at you. They remind me, like, all this stuff reminds me of Mario and Rayman, but they just kind of go, Hey, look, it's a light. I don't know what light is. I was born in the darkness. And you just have to keep following the stud trail to the right and up and down until you eventually get to where you're outside of the uh, darkness of the ocean. So here there's going to be a bunch of electric eels, although I guess that's kind of a... I don't know, I guess that kind of is redundant saying an eel is electric, although I don't think all eels are electric, but either way, just... Uh, Go straight up and try to avoid the eels, and if they do hit you, you will die, but you'll respawn quick enough where you can pass them. And it's, I found it easiest just to swim in a circle if you ever need to stop moving rather than not, you know, ra rather than stop pushing the A button because you seem to keep your momentum while you're going. Anyway, in the lighter part of uh, the underwater swimming section, actually it's one of the final parts where you'll be swimming, there will be a few more eels, but not too many more. All you have to do is just keep following the studs, get eaten by the last eel, that made me very sad, and get the nice star of studs there, and follow the arrow, and there you are with Wild Style, Emmett, Batman, and Kitty. And then all you have to do is do the secret knock with Vitruvius, and that will be the end of this level. Vitruvius! We thought you'd drown! Well, you know, if, if you want to wait a few minutes... Do any of you have a plan to get out of here? Um... Micromanagers, what's going on down there? Scanning submarine wreckage! No survivors detected! Scuba cops, dredge the entire ocean if you have to. We have got to find that piece. Let's get these prisoners back to Lord Business and give them the good news. The special is no more. <laughs> 